spots. You're on board with him. And one thing he was worried about going into this race was all that dirty air created by 34 cars. But right now, the position he's in, he actually has a small advantage because everybody else has opened the air up in front of him. And he Whoa, Oh, here we go. Trouble contact and a huge crash. Oh. Up in turn number two. Oh, multiple cars involved. Looks like Dan Weldon may be involved in it. And Eddie, you and I spoke about this this morning on the drive-in. Just this amount of cars, the speed, just the chance for what they call the big one. And what happens in conditions like that, you, when you're even, if you're 300 yards behind that, you cannot stop these cars. What, the only option you have is to try to avoid it. And it was Im impossible to avoid anything there. And you saw Will Power, his car involved as well. My, my, my. What a, what a mess. That's Townsend Bell that was, I think his car was up on its side there, the 22. 15 there of Jay Howard. An additional entry, excuse me, is that the 19 to 15? I can't see the sun shining there. Some of the car is broken. They're showing that as Alex Lloyd, the 19. It is it, the, it's the, the 15, 15 Jay Howard. Yes. One of the cars actually flew for about 200 yards in the air. Red flag is out here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway on lap number 12. And from high above, you can see the carnage. We talk about the car going through the air. Eddie, you know that these cars run so low down to the ground. We mentioned before we saw them hitting the ground and sparking that anything underneath the car, underneath the floor, underneath the tub, really just gets the air underneath the car itself, and up it will go. We saw J.R. Hildebrand out of his car. There is Dario Franchitti. Somehow he managed to get through the carnage, but... Sure, guys, I mean, there's just nothing I can do. Will Power did not. 10-4. They are going to stop you at pit lane on the right-hand side. They want the drivers to stay in the cars. What Franchitti was alluding to is there's nothing he can do avoiding the debris that's on the track. Well, there is debris everywhere. You can see just how many cars are literally torn apart. And this was the one thing, and there is the 18 of James Jakes. Now, he had a crash early in practice on Friday. That is actually a KV Racing backup car that they put together for him. Now, I don't see much damage on there, but he's out of the cockpit. And look at this from high above. And this was the one thing we were fearing when we saw qualifying and the two championship contenders in the middle of the field a big crash like this early in the race. What happens in accidents like this is that a single mistake by anybody, which might be dirty air, could be anything, multiplies itself so fast that you start accumulating cars. There's no way that you can control what happens. Once you start spinning at those speeds,